Hello. <clears throat> oh. Oh. How are you? I woke up this morning with a horrible sore throat. I didn't sleep well last night at all. I just saw uh, tossing and turning. And I also woke up very hungry at the world. Very hungry at the world. Very angry at the God. Very angry at the world and I can't figure out if I'm hungry or if I'm angry and then hangry. Watermelon? Are you okay? What's been going on, Chica Chica Roo? Oh, it's when the toilet runs. She acts like that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> he just went to the toilet, Watermelon. You don't have to yell about it, child. Why are you yelling about it, Watermelons? Now you're quiet. Huh? Yeah. Bitching up the store because the toilet's running and now you're quiet. You need something? No, I'm good. Oh. <clears throat> oh. They were like, Rev. Huh? Crypto 4 says Rev. Oh, hi. Apparently, he made a bunch of money in crypto. You like to pass some of that along oh. to a sister in need? I don't. I, 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 I'm going to do my best never to ask that type of stuff, you know? Yeah, um, it's just like, yeah, we're suffering, but. Whatever. You, you can't. You whatever. Can't. I guess people would rather give their money away to people who hate others and lie about them, so. I get that. Probably. Ugh, I feel so fucking terrible today. I do too. Ugh. Woke up and I was like tired of freaking tossing and turning. It's like fine. I guess I'll be up. I feel like shit. You gonna give me twenty dollars? That would be God bless you. Thank you. Every and that was a huge help. It's always a help. Everything's yeah. a huge help yeah, for us now. Everything, yeah. That is true. Ugh. What really sucks is the the weather sucks. And it's very downcast and cold. And when you have arthritis, it's the worst weather for you. Oh, yeah. It, it couldn't be worse. It, it takes me out. Yeah. The cold and damp is the worst for you. And it's like that almost every day. No. It's, it's, like, it's like I'm living in a layer of hell. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. Stuck in this body, not being able to do anything, and living in a room. I'm imprisoned on this earth. That's the truth. Imprisoned. Exactly. And I'm really tired of being imprisoned. On this earth, I want to be a free shanty. Yeah. I want to be able to hike and go on fishing trips and, and go to museums and zoos and just be able to live again. Yeah. Go to movies. Go to the movies. Mm -hmm. Dude. Go to the movies. Well, there's a couple of movies. Coming up. Yeah, that looked really freaking good. The Beetlejuice was a must. The, yeah, the Beetlejuice. And what was the other one? There's another one that's coming up that I really would like to do. I want to see that. Uh, I have to think about it. You know, the, the horror movies need to wait until yeah. they're out on, like, streaming services. Yeah. But, oh, the first Omen. Oh, yeah, that Omen movie. I want to see that. The first Omen. Thank you so much. Hey, God bless you. Thank you so much. May, may the Lord bless your crypto even more. Oh, my God. I wish I did it. Oh, my God. Right? Thank, Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, we got to talk about that. But there's a Gavin. Come here, Gavin. Max Kaiser. You want to say hi to the folks? Gavin, there's, 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 there's a Jason. He's a good boy. He's like, no, I'm not a good boy. No, I just feel like dog shit. Sorry. You ain't a good boy. Yeah, I am a good boy. He's a good. Boy. I am a good boy, but I'm just not feeling good at all. Mm -mm. My body feels constipated in every way. I'm constipated. I haven't pooped yet. Yeah, that's true. You haven't. That's true. See, guys, you'll get used to the idea of us probably talking about bowel movements because we're now 40s. I'm 40 yet, but she is. So. I am. Yeah, your life becomes bowel movements. And what kind of food can help with your bowel movement? <laughs> and complimenting each other on each other's farts. Sounds good. Like, yeah, that's true. Oh, well, that was a good one. And then and then watching Watermelon and Gavin eat each other's ass, there's that one. <laughs> oh, he ran away. Gavin's embarrassed. He's like, how can you embarrass me like that? Dude, you should have seen it. There was this, like, uh, Gavin, how did Gavin get there? Like, Watermelon was on the bed. And Gavin, was he trying to get on the bed? But, like, his head was, like, right in front of her ass. And he was like... Huh. And then he went in, and I don't know how Watermelon did that, but she like instantly turned around, and then she side eyed him like, <laughs> like what you doing? I didn't give you no permission to suck on my ass. Like, exactly what happened. It's funny as shit. 
I bought some oat cereal the other day. It cleaned me and my little boy so bad, like bad, bad. My son said he was peeing out of his butt. Yeah. <laughs> but see, that's what's so good about that oat freaking cereal. Oats are awesome. Is it does clean you out. Oats are so good for you. They and really that's are. a good thing that it cleans you out. Because when you're not cleaned out and you're kind of constipated like I am right now, and I don't even know why I'm constipated, but I am. I figure it's hormones. You just, you just, uh. see, here we go. It comes in our freaking, everyone's like, ew, why are we talking about food? Because we're old. That's why. We're old. Okay? Me and this dude right here may have young faces, but we've been on this earth for four freaking decades. Yeah. And it sucks. <laughs> You end, up, you end up just praying for Jesus to come every day, which is that's pretty accurate for us. That's cool. You know, please, Jesus, can you come and save me from my plate? Mm -hmm. Please, Jesus, can you help me find a job? Oh, yeah, so. Please, Jesus, can you put food on my table? Mm -hmm. Please, Jesus, can someone just get me a thing of cigs? All that type of thing. All of it. I'm right. I'm 40 and five kids. Poop is the last of my worries. <laughs> <laughs> You're born in 86, 83, 84, 80s babies. See, he doesn't remember the 80s like I do, though. No. Like, I remember a lot of things from the 80s. Yeah, you're like an elephant, man. You remember <clears throat> lots of stuff. Yeah. I can't believe that. Because, like, I, I, I look at the year, and I'm like, I was two. Like, how the hell do you remember this shit? Because I was three, and I was more conscious and aware. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I just, like, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, yeah, I, I get that. The last of the half-normal people. Yeah. <laughs> right? No. No, my son's generation. Gen Z. They, they, uh, they are, like, conservative in a lot of I don't know. I don't know how they did it, but but like they're they, they're like all asexual and they all like they respect each other's boundaries and they don't trust the government and it's awesome. I'm like shoot, man, my son's generation is a shit, but it's probably us that instilled the good values that they have in them and they're not as crazy as these weird twenty year olds going around. There's something wrong with that generation. Weird twenty year olds. Yeah, there's something wrong with that generation. But then again, I think there's something wrong with my parents' generation because they're just mean. And I'm like, why are you so angry? You guys used to be fucking hippies. It's hippies generation. I know. Well, they found out that. Did you did you stop like taking drugs and it turned you into assholes or something? I think they found out that peace and love was bullshit and it wasn't gonna work. That's bullshit in my opinion. And it's Jake Gism. Well, they still saw wars break out in the world. It's like, okay, here's our movement, and now we're gonna get in power, and we're never gonna have any wars. And it's great, and it was bullshit. In order to get rid of wars, you must take out the rich white psychopaths that are in power. That might be true, but I'm just saying that I think that's why they got jaded. That generation got jaded because they were all into the free love and let's love, 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 and nothing came of it. Because <laughs> the world's run by white psychopaths, that's right. So That is. There, there was there was <laughs> someone in the audience said, I hope you start doing podcasts, Rev, so you can have things for yourself again. And it's like, no, I'm that is so that. insulting to him. Well, you may think it's insulting to me, but it's actually insulting to him. I, I mean, okay. You can say that. But if I supported Trump, I would tell you. I, I, I'm i telling you that I've seen enough now myself without any influence from her or anybody else. That he's horrible for the country. Okay? It's just organically, I've seen what he's become. It's not me. I supported him in 2016 as, as a guy that was like, yeah, I'm going to come to the system and completely change it. Which was a pipe dream. I lost that pipe dream with Obama. Yeah, exactly. Your guy was Obama. Yeah, and you thought he was a real progressive and he would do real progressive things. And he did the same thing as any other president, really. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Affordable Care Act was good. Yeah. Obamacare was a good thing. And yet the wars continued. Yeah, they did. And he didn't close Gitmo. Po Crypto said podcast would be awesome. I have literally listened to every single thing there is out there with you guys i would be a lifetime subscriber thank you yeah thank you That's really thank awesome. you no i'd be more like in the background like robin quivers mm -hmm. you know and it'd be mostly this this main guy yeah i'd love to do that yeah we just need internet and i could get it all I set up and computer. yeah I need yeah you need your own computer i need my own setup so we'll see what happens well mm -hmm. we could start by it doing it you know if we're gonna do it then i'm and i'm gonna be the main guy i want to do it my way i know but we could start doing it a different way first and oh, then okay. gain money and then do it that way that you want to do yeah, it. Yeah, okay, whatever. Because we don't have money, so we got to no start from nowhere. No shit. So I'm well aware of that. You're well aware of having money. And no, I can tell the difference when trolls try to play any of your past situations. I know you guys are good people just stuck in a rut, and I've been there many times. Yeah, I'm, I need to get out of that situation where I'm stuck in a rut. I do. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll be okay. First of all, I need to go to the bathroom and I require Jason's services for that because I'm disabled and he helped me, he's my caretaker. So I will go for a minute and come back after I'm done doing whatever I need to do because I need to do something real quick. And I do require his services. Yeah. I was trying to politely not say that, but yes. <laughs> but um, I will be back. I'm not leaving you guys, I'll be back. I just need to take care of this. All right, <laughs> see you in a minute. So I'm back.
Um, how is everyone? Just drinking a, uh, they have Red Rose tea. This is actually my favorite regular tea brand, it's Red Rose. I like it way more than Lipton. And it's like two something for a box of a hundred, so it's super cheap. Oh, that gives you a nice natural caffeine. And it's good when you don't feel good. Oh. So, I know I could be a hard ass sometimes. Hey, camera, hi. Hi, how are you? Why do you have to do this dark spectrum type of thing with me, camera? So, like I said, hi, watermelon. How are you? They're distracting me, the kick-ass. But I know I could be a hard ass sometimes, but I do want to say that I do, like, really do love you guys. You know, and sometimes, you know, I get loud and hysteronic because I, like, really, I, I want to protect people from harm, you know? I don't want to see people hurt. You know, that's always my, my first priority. Like, last night, Jason had such a horrible migraine in his head. Horrible. And, you know, last night, I just started kissing his forehead, trying to make him feel better. Because I don't like seeing him in pain or sick or, you know, feeling ill or anything like that. You know, I love him. Jason's everything to me. And I know a lot of people don't want to believe that, but it is true that I truly do love him and I always have. You know, like, I owe him my life. Like, I really do feel that I have, like, a life debt to him. Um, because he legitimately did help me get saved. Uh, and... I can't be any more grateful to him than that. That he helped me find Jesus. You know, so he's he's great importance in my life. You know, it was never about money or anything like that, like a lot of people want to say. It was merely gratefulness that he helped save me, and because of that, I cared for him and was there for him when, you know, he was all alone. It's like his mom passed, and he was just, I saw him for years just alone, and it just, it, it, it broke my heart seeing how alone he was. And I was, when I first met or not well met him online um i was married to another man and it's just like i always felt bad for him you know tried to convince him to get a dog or a cat he wouldn't listen to me <laughs> he can, he's very stubborn at change regarding that and then i was like to my ex-husband maybe you could talk to him and like be his buddy or something because this dude is like really alone and then my marriage fell through and then it was just like we got romantic with each other and it was one of the most beautiful things I have experienced because our love for each other was pure. And the foundation of our relationship is Jesus. Like, it was Jesus Christ that brought me and Jason together. Like, he holds us together, you know? I remember this one fight we had, and it was a big fight that me and him had. And I ended up, I still have the scar. I ended up cutting my leg. Um, it's on my knee. And it was in, it was a J on my right knee. A big, giant J on my knee. And I heard God, and, and he said, I told you to take care of him, not leave him. And it's like, all right. So it's obvious that the Lord truly wants to keep us together and wants us together. And you, we can see it in other ways. Like when we are intimate with each other, it's, it's, it's just like magic. It's just like, it's magical. It's powerful. It's intense. It's passionate. It's just one of the most incredible things I've ever experienced. And then we're so alike in personality and, and what we like to do that it's just like, it's nice. Like, to have someone who has so many interests that you do you know i think there's only a couple of minor things that he's not interested in that i'm interested in and i'm not interested in that he's interested in like magic he loves magic i don't but magic is a hard game street fighter i can try to talk about street fighter anyway. i don't give a shit i get it yeah, yeah there's street fighter <laughs> and then me it's tyler too yeah <laughs> uh but he likes mythbusters so i don't understand how he like he doesn't like tyler too but he's he tyler too. it's just nonsense just like, okay it's nonsense I like rednecky shit, you know? I I like seeing men put shit together that should be put together and make it fucking work, okay? I like that shit. I like I like mechanics and I like physics and, you know, engineering type B thingies. I like that. I'm down with that. My, my, my father was an engineer, so it's like, I naturally am interested in that stuff and I paid attention to everything my dad told me about that stuff, so it's like, just into it. Um, but I did get him into Dirty Jobs. He likes Dirty Jobs. Great show. Yeah. yeah, Dirty Jobs. Um, he loves Mythbusters. He mm -hmm. thinks that's a great show. Oh my God, that's one of the best shows I've ever on here. Absolutely. There you go. Yeah. I was watching that from the now, Tyler Tube. The thing with Tyler Tube is this: most of his channel now is product testing, mm -hmm. and it's I, like watching an infomercial. Like I don't care. I don't care if this leaf blower works good. I don't care. So you put it on, and I'm like, Jesus fuck. Okay, fine. I know you gotta watch it. So. Yeah, but he always does something really stupid and funny, and it makes you giggle. Yeah, that doesn't make me not want to watch his videos. <laughs> I could go and giggle at Pie. You know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, 
we haven't watched Pootie Clock Pie in like forever. Long, long, long time, yeah. No offense to Pewds, okay? Yeah. I am part of the nine year old army, okay? I used to have the hat. Yeah, you did. Literally, I did. Yeah, you did. I bought that nine year old army hat, okay? <laughs> you did. I did. <laughs> no offense to PewDiePie, I love Felix and Marcia very much, and their little baby is just so, so very cute. They're like the most beautiful couple in the world, and now they have like the most beautiful child in the world. Go figure. Yeah, cute. Um, yo, what about those celebrities? They're really good looking celebrities, but their kids look like they're like related or something, and not just brother and sister, but cousins or some weird shit like that. But anyway, there's, there's that. I don't think anyone's up. We've got like three viewers right now. Okay. I'd rather not be on at all. But that's fine. Well, I gotta do something and talk to the people somehow. But I, I they're like, oh, there's no drama going on. I just kind of off. Hmm? Yeah. Well, sorry, there's no drama going on in my life. But literally, there's no drama in my life other than I have to cancel two doctor's appointments because of a snowstorm coming through. Okay, so really quickly, I looked up the weather, and as you can see, this is why we call you a liar, Shani. There is no snowstorm coming. Unless it can snow in 50 degree weather. As you can see, it's supposed to be in the 50s. Um, so, you're a liar. 54, 53, 50, 53, liar. And I'm not willing to risk slipping on the ice and further injuring myself for a doctor's appointment. Where they'll be like, yeah, your legs are pretty fucked up. Yeah, I know, I told you. Great, we'll see you next month. <laughs> okay. Pretty much, I would be going. All right. Thanks. Yeah, you have arthritis. Um, your prognosis is it's gonna get worse. See you in, in, in three months. Pretty much. Pretty much. Hope the drugs, you know, make you feel a little bit better. I'm better than nothing. I guess. Slightly. Yeah, slightly. I'm still tossing and turning that night in pain. It don't matter. I don't sleep, and it affects everything. Now, me getting an actual good night's sleep, I know not of what that is like anymore. I, I haven't. Have you ever known me getting a night's hour sleep ever? Not really. No. Yeah, it's been. God, I don't even remember last time I had a good sleep. No. Like, I'm so used to it now that it's like. Like, you're struggling, and I'm like, hi, how's everything? You know what it was? The years of me having babies. Has gotten me used to the years of being in sheer and utter painful agony, mm. physical and emotional pain. That's cool. I guess. No, just imagine. This is this is this is my life. If you want to put it in a box, I'm in severe emotional and physical pain at all times. I I'm stuck in my body that doesn't move very well, and then I'm stuck in a room most of the day because I can't move around very well. I've been doing this for the last. Two, three years of being in the same room every day of my life. And I'm really tired of it. I'm being in prison. And not only that, but I get shit from people all the time because other people online try to start shit with me and lie about my life. So they think that I'm this horrible person when I'm not because they heard something on the internet about someone and I have to deal with that shit on top of the other shit that I'm already fucking dealing with. And then to top that shit out, my sons are getting ready for college and I have to deal with that shit. And, and really, I just, like, I'm, I'm ready for a huge change. Something that's good, you know? Because, like, most of my life, it's just been blah, 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 blah. just a down, where it's slow, freaking roll down a very steep hill. And I'm still rolling down that very steep hill. I'm kind of hoping there's some kind of, like, falcon or something to, like, sweep me away and put me on top of that mountain again so, like, and it's like, you will not suffer anymore. You will have nothing but the greatest in life. That would, that would be nice. Because, you know, I gotta need that. I'm kind of done with the perpetual suffering, to tell you the truth. But here's my problem with my perpetual suffering. I don't compromise my code, my personal code of ethics and morals. I do not compromise that shit. Ever. And I'd probably get farther in life if I compromise my moral code. But, since it's my code, I cannot do such things. It's not programmed that way. All right. Well, enough bitching today. You might come on later. It looks like everyone's still waking up. Oh, around like six, six, eight Eastern Standard Time. Maybe I'll come on. Maybe Jason will come on to talk about some things. Um, but he doesn't want to be online, so I'll give him a break from that, so he can have 
all of my attention. <laughs> all right, so peace and Maranatha people, don't beat yourself up too bad. Life is short, and then you die. <laughs>